let's talk about these, uh, these short objectives you're not going to have to worry about. Um, they don't touch oil. They don't touch the slide. Um, they're almost never dirty. It's almost always the 40X. When we have complaints and people say, I cannot see well through my microscope, it's almost always the 40X. Um, and it's often a matter of perspective. Um, do you mean it's just blurry, I can't see anything, or is it just not quite as crisp as it used to be? Um, so there's a lot of degrees, but sometimes it's simply that we forgot to close our iris. Now, if you notice, there's a condenser under here. It's the Abbey condenser. Every microscope out there, it has an iris. It opens and closes just like your eyeball does. More light, less light. Actually, what it's doing is setting a cone of light. The rule of thumb to remember, and this will improve your microscope by doing this, the smaller the objective, the smaller the iris. So on my 4X, this should be almost all the way closed. On my 10X, a little bit open. On my 40X, maybe halfway open. If you've left this wide open, you're not going to get good resolution out of these objectives, even if they're perfectly clean. So use your iris properly. That's the number one thing to make sure of before we uh, get to the cleaning process. Um, all right, so again, don't need to clean my 4X. I don't need to clean this 10X. I will clean this 40X. And this is kind of the, uh, the best thing you're going to see on this video is how to clean a 40X objective. Now, customers often tell me, well, we clean it every day. Um, and what they do is, you know, they just wipe, wipe, wipe while it's on the microscope. Well, we cleaned it. We, we got some fluid, we cleaned it. And tomorrow, we cleaned it the other way. Um, we kept wiping it. But it's still blurry, and it's still dirty as well because you can't see that little lens very well. It is so tiny. So what I want to do is I want to be able to see it well by taking an eyepiece, turn it backwards the backwards eyepiece. It's kind of like a jeweler looks at a diamond. You've seen an eye loop. So a backwards eyepiece is a 10x magnifier. That little lens right there that we suspect may be dirty. If I put it where my eyeball goes, there's a focal point right there. Now I can look through this backwards. Look, I'm moving in. I'm move I've got my fingers touching each other so I can hold steady. Get some light on this lens from above. Don't lean over it. Get some light on it. Now move it in and out, depending on your eyepiece. Aha, there it is. I see it clear. I see it magnified 10 times. And what you often will say is, wow, that is dirty. Um, now what you see is that lens is recessed. And if you've been wiping this way every day, you've piled up oil and debris on this side. Tomorrow you've wiped it back across. The oil just keeps streaking across that lens. Um, now that you can see that it's recessed and you can see it well, you'll know how to clean it. So, let's assume that it is very dirty. I'm going to, I'm going to have to go, again, keep the clean side of my cotton swab and keep them sealed. Now, I'm going to get in here and try to clean the debris out. The debris may be in that little recess. So I'm trying to clean it. I'm using different spots here of my uh, wipe. And look at it again. Now, um, now I'm going to put a little fluid on here, get this a little bit wet, just a little, and I'm going at it again. And again, a circular, I can even spin, spin this because I know now that it's recessed and I'm trying to clean out the groove. So going in there and spinning that um, or turning your objective and kind of cleaning out the groove and I'm going back with my eyepiece again, backwards, and I say, yep, yeah, I'm making progress. Um, and again, you may end up doing this 10 times. Um, and that final, you can, again, get some fluid on here, and you can go in there. Sometimes I fold up a corner, get myself a little corner point, and get it in there and clean it out like that. And then a little more of a dry spot. Watch, fold up a little corner, get in there, and then you're going to look at it again. And a, maybe 10 minutes later, you will get this objective looking just like brand new. I want that to be as clean, oil-free mirror surface. And then you put that back on your microscope, you'll be amazed at the difference. Now it's a very clean objective.